Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from my mums. Hi mommy. We all want a very intelligent child. I Dr. Neeta Chaudhary will tell you four simple ways how your child can be very intelligent. We know in pregnancy we do a number of things to increase the intelligence of the baby. And one thing that we are doing a lot is eating the right kind of food. But besides food, your thoughts really impact your baby's development. Now what is the role of intelligence in human life? You can make your baby smart by increasing its IQ, the SQ, EQ and the AQ. Now what is intelligence? The ability to respond in a certain situation with balanced emotions is intelligence. Now what are the dimensions of human intelligence? It is cognitive that is your IQ intelligent quotient then second is emotional quotient the third is spiritual quotient and the fourth and very important which can't be ignored is your agility quotient now different part of the brains control different things so when you involve your entire brain left side of the brain right side of the brain and the mid brain and the complete brain you can have a very intelligent child now the left part of the brain is important in the iq in the rational thinking but the right side of the brain is responsible for creative thinking in the left part of the brain when the iq is growing how it is happening by serial processing of information intellectual intelligence is on this side now the right side the right side has the emotional quotient your creativity so when you are doing different activities both these brains are working but the sq the spiritual quotient balances both the left side and the right side of the brain and the agility quotient again covers up all these three things put together and it makes you really really strong and happy according to who what is health state of physical mental social and spiritual well being is health and not just the absence of disease or infirmity now aristotle said man is a rational animal animal but i said h i i had already discussed about human intelligence William Stern termed IQ. He said there's something called intelligent quotient. What is that? Our cognitive ability to solve problems rationally with understanding and interpreting new ideas. Now Daniel Goleman termed EQ the emotional quotient. He said just using your intelligence is not enough if the emotions are not there. Now Zohar Marshall termed SQ. He said the spiritual quotient also has to be important. See, if the leaves are good, it is important, but the roots have to be very deep rooted and very strong. Only then we can have a good world. I'm sure this video has lots of information. Remember to like, subscribe, share with your friends, press the bell icon button. and remember to add your comments do you think is it possible to increase the iq in the baby and how you can do it zohan and marshall said that computers have iq animals have eq but humans are different because they have a spiritual quotient the sq so what sets us apart is the sq See when you go home and you have a pet dog it has only love 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 and when you go to office in the corporate world everybody is using their intelligence but as human if you are very spiritually connected you will be able to balance all this now what are the activities that you can do you can play puzzles you can solve riddles and even read information blogs In our iMoms app we have a number of games which you can play very easily and comfortably. Now how to increase the emotional quotient? 
the right side of the brain that is creativity listen to ragas talk to your baby program your baby is right there inside you you can even feel the movements of your baby so talk to your baby and connect that emotions are developing at different parts of your pregnancy the development is happening the senses are developing emotions are developing feelings are developing and all this starts in the utero so when you become creative you can have some hobbies you can do some drawing you can do painting you can do mandala art you can do rangoli there are so many hobbies that you can do you can do bird watching you can do photography all this will increase the right brain development brain is the only organ in our body which can be sculptured during pregnancy so whatever seeds you are sowing will grow in your baby now the sq how you can increase your sq what activities again in our imoms app we have lots of meditations for you you can listen to stories moral stories when you read these stories your feelings your emotions will automatically go to your baby and this is not a formal education remember your baby is hearing everything your baby is watching you constantly it is like a cctv so all these things will definitely help your baby become very strong spiritually in 1990 a research was done by neurophysiologist michael persinger and neurologist v s ramachandran in the university of california and they found a god spot in the temporal lobe of the brain on scanning they noticed that when they spoke about spirituality this would start glowing so we have a brain we have a body and we have a mind all these three things put together make us what we are now the agility quotient is very important if you don't have that fire within to balance everything you will lose out the battle very soon so it is very important to integrate all the four qualities when your baby is growing for the baby to be complete strong healthy physically and as well as mentally and only you as a mother along with your husband and your immediate family can bring this safety and security when the baby is in the womb studies have proven that there are so many problems which start from the womb so don't be stressed don't be tense because that will pass on the same emotions to your baby i want you to be absolutely healthy physically mentally spiritually spiritually doesn't mean religion there are so many people in the research it came out people atheists could have more values than compared to so called religious people so just stay happy play good games do good activities for the development of your baby thank you and namaste